welcome to my channel, my name is Kim and in this class we focus on stretching the feet and ankles. So if you're up on your feet a lot, this is a great practice for you to do. We start in a toe stretch, so from all fours, flex your feet, curl the toes under and shift your body weight back until your hips rest directly on your heels. You may need to manually adjust your pinky toes with your hands, place your palms on your thighs, back of the neck remain long. If this is too intense, you can always place your hands on the ground in front of you or even on a block. If it's really too intense for you, you could also lift the hips up so less weight is on your heels. So regular yin yoga poses are held for 3 to 5 minutes. But these kind of poses for the feet and the wrists are not held for that long. About two minutes here. Inhale and exhale, slow steady breaths through your nose. And notice if you're tensing up in your jaw or the shoulders. Keep everything relaxed. Let's release, lift and point your toes back, coming into tabletop pose and just wiggle the toes a little bit, maybe make some circles before moving on. Sit down on your heels with the toes pointed back. Now we'll stretch the front of the feet, so first lift up to scoop your tailbone under and then sitting the hips back down and now place your hands back behind you lifting the shins and knees off the mat. Usually you don't need to go very far to feel it in this pose, so you can stay here or come down on your elbows to intensify the stretch. As long as you can keep your chest lifted, find your edge.
Slowly set your knees back down to come out of this pose. Again, lifting to tabletop, you might want to wiggle out the feet once more to get the blood flowing again. Next, we'll come into an Achilles stretch, so come to a mini squat position. With the feet parallel and hip width distance apart, heels stay lifted off the ground. Even if you can reach them all the way down, please keep them lifted, otherwise you'll lose the stretch. Your upper body folds forward over the legs, or thighs I should say. And now you should begin to feel a stretch in the back of the ankles, leading up all the way in the calf, into the calves. Hands can rest on the mat just in front of you. Let gravity do the work here. And breathe. Always refocus on your breath if your mind begins to wander and observe your thoughts. If you get angry or if you want to fidget, this can tell a lot about your mind, your mindset. Releasing this pose, knees come back down to the mat, and then extend both legs out, we will just individually roll the ankles out, so lift the right heel and make circles in one direction, and then the other, and then the left leg circles to the left, and then the right. And release that. Now come into a comfortable seated position or kneeling, whatever feels more comfortable. Hands rest on the knees, eyes close. Notice if you feel any difference as opposed to when you first started this practice. Taking one last breath together, so inhale. And exhale out the mouth. <sighs> Palms come together in front of the heart. May you carry light and love out into your day. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me, yogis. If you enjoyed this class, please remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video and share it with your friends. Practice again with you soon.